Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Elise Reads and Speaks. Today on my bookish tournament, I have Chris. Chris and I went to school together at Elon and we have really battled over who the better Dumbledore was. For the record, it's Richard Harris. Like, <laughs> no contest. Okay, but we get into stupid fights like that, so I figured he would be the perfect person for this. So, let us see what he chooses. Hey, my name's Chris, and I am helping out Elise with her young adult book, March Madness Bracket. <laughs> um, I'm not a casual reader of young adult novels, being a 32-year-old man. I've read Harry Potter and Hunger Games back in the day, that and I saw awesome. the final Twilight movie. So, let's take a crack at this. <laughs> Didn't okay. Never seen Twilight. <laughs> a girl sees things other mortals can't and discovers her angel heritage. Or a girl is dragged to a magical kingdom for killing a fairy. Um, I guess dragged to a magical kingdom for killing a fairy. That sounds interesting. Next one is three sisters must kill one another to become queen. Or an elite and the country's most wanted criminal join forces to take down the corrupted government. Yeah, I think I want the elite and the most wanted criminal joining up. That sounds kind of okay. cool. Three sisters must kill one. Hmm. Next one. A valuable dragon escapes from the community with her family and lives in secrecy. Or a villain infiltrates a legion of heroes to wreak havoc. Is probably a villain inter infiltrates a legion of heroes to wreak havoc. That I think you'd like that one. Cool. A valuable dragon. I feel like I know or have heard of some of these books, but I probably don't not. Ever guess it. Probably not that one. A girl <laughs> spies for the rebels inside the Empire's greatest military academy. Is that just Star Wars? <laughs> or a girl <laughs> no. volunteers to compete in a. De that's the Hunger Games. So it's Star Wars or the Hunger Games. Well, I've already read the it's Hunger Games. It's not Star Wars. I guess we'll see what this Star Wars novel has <laughs> in score. A girl inserts herself into a virtual game and joins a famous team. Okay. Or in a world that has cured death and disease, two apprentices are taught the art of killing. <laughs> <laughs> in a world. Um, boy. I guess I'll do a girl inserts herself into a virtual game okay. and joins a famous team. If that's Ready Player One, I'm going to be pissed. It's not. A girl with a mysterious past finds herself in the middle of an intergalactic battle. Or a girl is chosen from a poor community com to compete with other girls for the prince. <laughs> wow, really breaking down those gender stereotypes. <laughs> um, I guess I'll do a mysterious past, intergalactic battle. I'm a Star Wars Star Trek fan. A girl travels through parallel dimensions to find her father's killer. That is a wrinkle in time. That was nope. a heinous movie. Or a group of teens in high society try to plan for their futures through marriage, alliances, scandal, and deceit. A group of teens in high... Is that Riverdale? <laughs> no. <laughs> I guess I'll do a group of teens in high society. Wow. Or a girl must decide whether or not she wants to risk her life to become the summer queen. <laughs> summer queen. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> or two sisters escape to a magic carnival before one is married off. Summer queen. <laughs> show. Yes. I love it. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see how this goes. Watch me wind up picking the worst one of these. It's a possibility. Oh well. Anyhow. <laughs> okay, so you you chose some that I think you might actually like, but some, some man, I I am surprised. Okay, let's go through the list of what you have chosen for round one. You chose Akatar. <laughs> Wonderful choice. Legend, Renegades, 
Ember in the Ashes, not Star Wars. I mean, I don't know much about Star Wars, but is that the plot of Star Wars? I, I don't know. Warcross, not Ready Player One. Similar, but Warcross is really good. Um, Lunar Chronicles, yes. The Lux, you're my first one that has chosen the Lux, yay. And Wicked Lovely, <laughs> Summer Queen. <laughs> okay, let's see what you choose for round two. All right, just got Chris's round two. Let's see what he picks. Hey there, I am doing part two of the Young Adult March Madness thing <laughs> that Elise is doing. And uh, yeah, I'll jump right into it. Let's see here. My first matchup <laughs> is Mate Cursebreaker Spring versus Military Republic Plague. I wonder if mate is used as a noun or a verb in this sense. Both. It's both. Hmm. I'll do mate on the off chance that it's a young adult novel with people having sex in it. It is! Hooray! This one is Powers, Nightmare Helmet, okay. Cook, Masks, Commandment. Commandant, I'm sorry. Cook, Masks, Commandant. Okay, can we... I wonder if Cook is the same situation where it's about a cook or people are cooking a young adult novel about people cooking in masks. I just, I just have to pause it because I am very, very impressed. Like most people say commandant, they don't get it. He stopped and said commandant. I'm just, Chris, you took my breath away. That was so good. Okay, continue on. <laughs> I think I'll do the uh, Powers Nightmare Helmet. Okay. Seems more captivating to me. Next is Power Up Phoenix Hacker versus Cyborg Moon Disease. Ugh. I think I like Cyborg Moon Disease only because if you took out the commas from that, it seems way cooler. <laughs> yeah, a Cyborg Moon Disease. <laughs> then the last one is City Socialite Historical mm -hmm. versus. Fairy sight winter and fairy is spelled in that fancy fairy way. <laughs> hmm. I do like history stuff. But there are parts of history that are real fucking boring. <laughs> I don't know if I can curse. You can edit that out. You can. It's fine. <laughs> oh, city socialite historical. God. That is a huge upside, but that has a lot of potential to be super boring. <laughs> I think I'll do Fairy Sight Winter. <laughs> yeah, so. Mate Cursebreaker Spring. Okay. Act Power Tower. Nightmare Helmet. Renegades. Cyborg Moon Disease. Ladder Chronicles. And Fairy Sight Winter. <laughs> Wicked I feel like I'm lovely. I'm to like read Twilight or something. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Fun. Okay, no, no, you didn't pick Twilight, but I, I am curious what you will think if you do end up picking Wicked Lovely, which I would love to see. But if you pick Lunar Chronicles, like, I really, I really think you'd enjoy that one. I think you'd like Renegades, too, actually. I do not think you'd be a big fan of Akatar, but boy, would I be a big fan of you reading it. So let's see what you get. <laughs> Just got round three. Let's see what you got. Hey guys, I'm back again for Elise's March Madness thing, and um, now I have to decide between people's names. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at these names right now, and they don't sound like normal names. <laughs> so the first two names are Rysan, Rysan, mm -hmm. probably Rysan, Rysan versus Nova, and then the next set of names is. Thorn versus Donia, Danya, Danaya. The first one I'll probably do. Oh god, I don't know, maybe Nova. That sounds cool. Okay. Then for the second one, uh, God, I almost want to flip a coin. <laughs> Thorn, Danya. I guess I'll go Donya. Donya. Yeah, that's what. Watch me pick like the worst books of all time. <laughs> <sighs> all 
Okay, so we had to say goodbye to Agatar, which is a bummer because I would have really enjoyed watching you read that one. I think you might like Renegades though. If that's the one that you end up with, you might actually end up with something that you like reading. I don't think you're going to love Wicked Lovely if you end up with that one. So I will enjoy you reading that one. Okay, let's see what you pick for your final round. All right, just got Chris's round four. I want you to know that I made this very easy for him to pick something that he might like, okay? His, his last round was superheroes versus fairies. All right, that was as easy as I could make it for him. So if he picks fairies, he has nobody to blame but himself for his choice. All right, I just wanted to put that as a disclaimer. Let's see what he goes with. Hey there. Uh, oh, I just realized how much my beard is coming in. <laughs> my quarantine beard. <laughs> um, this is the final round for Elisa's little book March Madness thing. I guess it's not really March anymore. But um, my final choice is superheroes versus fairies. I feel like I already know a lot about superheroes. I grew up reading comics. So I think I'm gonna pick fairies. I feel like that's when the laugh track starts because I just picked like the one book I would never ever read in my life. You did. Yeah. You did. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, and I am excited for you. You chose brum, Wicked Lovely. Oh man. Okay, hold on just one second because I, I know that I need to read the tagline on the back of this book so that you get a snapshot of what you have just signed on to. Hold on one second. All right, I'm back. I'm just gonna read you the back of the book because I feel like the back of the book sums it up much better than I ever could. All right, rule number three, don't stare at invisible fairies. Rule number two, don't speak to invisible fairies. Rule number one, don't ever attract their attention. Ashlyn has always seen fairies. Powerful and dangerous, they walk hidden in the mortal world. When the rules that have kept Ashlyn safe from them stop working, everything is suddenly on the line. Her freedom, her best friend, Seth, her life, everything. Fairy intrigue, mortal love, and the clash of ancient rules and modern expectations swirl together in Melissa Mars' stunning 21st century fairy tale. Oh man, okay. I, I just want to say that, like, I, I'm not trashing this series at all. The reason that it's even on this list is because I immensely enjoyed it. But I gotta be honest, I don't know if you will, but I would really like you to give it a try, all right? The premise is that this girl, okay, this didn't give it um, as good a summary as I thought it would. This girl has always had the ability to see fairies, okay? So we know that. The premise is that this guy has been searching for his queen the entire time. Like, it's been centuries where he's been looking for his summer queen so that summer will be a more powerful realm. Because right now, winter is taking over everything. If he finds his mate, like his match to be his queen, then the summer can kind of balance with the winter instead of being at winter's beck and call. All right, so it does sound a little flimsy, but there's a lot of cool fairy stuff in here. Like if you're not super knowledgeable about fairies, like there's a lot of good stuff in here about the different fairy courts and what their, their character traits are. Like I find it super interesting. Oh man, I really hope you read this during quarantine. <laughs> I really hope you do. Okay, thank you so much for playing my game so far. Man, this is like the underdog, okay? This is the Cinderella story, the one that comes from behind that we didn't see coming. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love a good Cinderella story. All right, thank you for tuning in to Elise Reads and Speaks. I'll catch you next time, guys. Bye.